On this episode of Bobscaping, we're going to do some driveway repair. Here we see the old driveway we've been trying to keep glued together with sealer. And you can see where different cracks, spider cracks, have opened up over different winters. And in this particular area, have caused additional problems by becoming a actual pothole. So today we have purchased some Quickcrete commercial grade blacktop repair and the first step will be getting our pothole ready. So here are the tools we have. We have a small shovel, a tamper, a gardening trowel, and a pair of scissors. So first we'll take our trowel and try to get this hole to where it has straight edges and enough depth that the blacktop repair will, will stay inside the, the hole instead of being so thin on the edges that it won't hold. So we have pretty good, this is the kind of edge you want to have here where you have kind of a straight deep edge that looks pretty good there too. Up here we'll knock some some uh, additional material out to, to get a little bit of depth. Get this cleaned out. Try to get it ready to go for the black top. Work on these edges. You put, could use a, uh, a digging bar or something to to make a little better headway. We'll just throw that off to the side there. Get this loose stuff out of here. It's hard to know where to stop because you could keep picking at this and keep making the hole larger. We're going to try to keep it to where it's where it is now without making it too too large. You see some of these are even a little loose so it's again it's where do you stop? Where do you stop with your... Keep going, you'll have the whole driveway dug up. We've got this little whisk broom here too to, to help us sweep some of this material out of the, out of the hole. I keep cleaning it out and see how much more we need to to deepen it or straighten the edges before we open this bag of uh, blacktop repair which we've had sitting in the sun to help it warm up a little bit. We'll go on these edges here a little bit. Did this sort of repair on another part of the driveway where parked vehicles had created depressions in the blacktop and uh, those repairs have held up pretty well. Usually you have to wait a month or two before you can apply blacktop sealer over this new sort of material. Again it's, it's going to be kind of a guessing game where to where to stop. This is this is looking pretty good up in here. One thing I forgot to get out with my tools was the was a kneeling pad. Always helps to have something soft under your knees, especially as you get older. Okay, we're gonna get some more of this loose material out of here. Sweep it a little bit more. See where we're see where we are with this pothole. Again, we're looking to create edges that are deep enough where the there's enough of the material to bind to itself. If you try to run it up onto a real thin area, there's not enough there to make it hold. Okay, so we're getting this we're getting this swept out here. 
work on these edges just a little bit more. I'm not sure what a new driveway like this costs these days. I'm thinking probably somewhere between three to five thousand dollars. So we keep throwing some money at this each year to try to avoid the big the big expense. Okay, let's see. These these edges aren't too bad. Of course every time you, you dig a little more out you you tend to loosen some other pieces so we don't want to go too crazy here. Okay, we'll sweep that out. Okay. Now next step is here we'll cut open our bag of black top ready to use sealer and the key will be to get enough in there without getting too much it's always good to coat any of the tools you're using with with some uh, oil or, or something so the this blacktop stuff tends to be sticky and you don't want it to to stick to your to your tools so there we see it's starting to come out of the bag we'll help that along a little here we're gonna spread it out you want to get enough in but of course not too much don't want to create a raised area and you can kind of smooth it around if you have a, a shovel or the back of a trowel you can you can smooth it out we'll get some more out of the bag here Again, it helps to have some sun on this to help it become more pliable and easier to work with. We'll put some up here. Scoop it into the upper part. What had happened once this hole opened up, of course, every time water runs down the driveway, it tends to to wash it out a little bit more. Okay, we're getting that. We just about have enough out of the bag, so we're gonna move it out of the way. Okay. keep working it into our see if we can get into all our edges so we have we're tight against the edges here it usually stays pretty pliable for a little while especially if it's warm in there I think a lot of the uh, professional blacktop workers use kerosene on their tools to keep them clean or to keep them from having this stick to them this thinner area like here it it may or may not stick again you have to have a little bit of thickness to this product to make it Day. Uh, 
Okay. Sometimes you'll see them do asphalt repair. You'll see them. Uh, sometimes you'll see them do asphalt repair and put tar, line some of these sorts of holes with tar first. Okay, I think we I think we probably have enough here now. Tamping might take it down just a little bit, but probably not that much. It'll just help tighten it up and then later, <clears throat> after this cures for a month or two, we can seal it with some black top sealer to help fill in some of these additional voids and edges where water will try to get in. Okay. Now we got our homemade tamper here. Basically a 4x4 four four nailed onto a 2x4. So now we'll come in and tamp it a little bit. We put some oily material on the bottom here to try to help or prevent sticking. We're going to tamp this in on the edges here. Just a light tamping to tighten it up. Get some of these little nooks and crannies and these edges. Don't have to do it real hard, just hard enough to get the material to tighten up, help it bond to itself. Probably on a hole this size, a 2x4 alone would be enough to do this. You really don't need all this extra width. In fact, the width can actually create problems when it gets in the way. material in our scrap pile. And there we have it. Black top patching 101. For this episode of Bobscaping, this is Bob.